get a Genetech. And uh, who are you? I'm Fang from Genetech. And so here at the China Sourcing Fair, yes. you're showing some new stuff. Yes. Let's see, what do you have? Uh, what do we have? Everybody have the TV stick, HDMI stick. There are hundreds of uh, companies are showing that. But uh, our stick from Genetech, we have a dual band Wi-Fi. That is um, very uh, sensitive and uh, you can see uh, during the show, many uh, Wi-Fi routers here, but our dual band Wi-Fi still works um, perfect. So dual band Wi-Fi inside, yeah. how does it work? Where is it? Uh, Where's the antennas? Antenna also inside, on bed, uh, embedded antenna. Like somehow, like this somehow? Yes, somewhere here. All right, so is it as good Wi-Fi as uh, a very expensive Intel laptop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly as good. Yeah, yeah. We are using uh, we are using the chipset that is used by um, uh, iPad. Is it possible to use USB Ethernet adapter? Yes. That also works. Yeah, that also works. And this uh, CPU is a dual core. Yeah, for MAME logic as well. Dual core. So, uh, how how do you differentiate with Amlogic? What can you do? Also, you have the Wi-Fi there. What other things do you do? The rest of things are uh, mostly uh, based on the firmware. Uh, our guys made the DRM play ready for Microsoft to work on uh, uh, on our dongle. And also our guys make the um, the uh, HRS and the RTSP and the UDP working uh, perfect for streaming video. So you have very good streaming support. Yes. The other ones cannot do that. Uh, I, I actually I don't know. I cannot say that. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, how about, uh, is this your software now, the UI? Yeah, we have many kinds of UI. This is the one, not that one. Not this remote. Yeah. See, uh, this one, this one I mean, it's, a, it's a smart TV like one. Looks like a smart TV. And uh, this one, another kind of smart TV with a TV or a video window there. And this one is very simple. Which one is most popular? Depends on. Depends on. I prefer this one. Let me show. Let me show you. That one, that's uh, smooth. So you have all kinds of different UIs, yep. and uh, uh, how many do you sell of these sticks, for example? It's very new, this one, the dual Wi-Fi? Yeah, so it's uh, brand new. But uh, how many, uh, you, you sell set-up boxes similar to this, right? Uh, yep. How they, many do you sell? Uh, more than 500 thousand. 500,000 per how long? Uh, around one year. One year, 500,000 per year. And so they look like uh, this, all the different ones, like this. Yeah, Which one this is most popular right now? Uh, this one and uh, this one, and also this one for Duke Core, also popular now. And some of geeks, they love our uh, Android box with hard drive. So where are you mostly selling? Which one is your main countries for selling? Uh, hard to say main, but uh, except uh, Africa, the <laughs> rest of the countries uh, really uh, sell uh, sold a lot. All right. And uh, so you, you're showing also some uh, some other stuff? Yes. What do you have? Yeah, uh, you, you can see uh, <clears throat> during the show, there are nearly thousands of companies uh, <clears throat> showing tablets. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> all the tablets, they are the lack of uh, one main function. Uh, function that is uh, digital TV. Uh, they cannot watch a digital TV live on the tablet. And uh, Genetech is the one who can supply such kind of a TV tuner for tablet, micro USB and antenna. Nice. So this is very small. Yeah, it's very small. Micro USB on one side. Yep. Antenna for yep. GBBT. GBBT and SDBT. 
really this DVB-T now with this. Yes. And it works with every tablet? No. We, we must integrate our driver to the tablet maker and, uh, <clears throat> and then we release our application software and they can use that for the tablet. Mainly for Rockchip and uh, MLogic. MLogic is uh, as the default Rockchip, we need uh, some fun tune. So it can work soon maybe with all the Rockchip tablets or only the one that load the firmware? So it depends on the factory that makes it. Yes, we yeah. we, we, we will work with the factories. How, how much it costs this? Uh, it's around uh, 15 to 17, depends on the accessories, US dollars. And uh, so with the tablet, would it be possible to record TV? Yeah, record TV and the live, uh, live HD TV. Can you pull the antenna out? How, how far does it go? And uh, HD also? Yeah. 1080p? DVT? I think it's 1080i. 1080i. And what is the other one you have here? You have to show something else? Yep. This one is another one. This is the DVB-T in and the Wi-Fi out. That is to say, even you don't have any uh, USB port, like the iP iPad stuff, and then you can use this one to get the, the digital TV and uh, rebroadcast it uh, to Wi-Fi, and uh, you can use your mobile phone, smartphone, and, uh, uh, at least, uh, and uh, watch it. But you don't need the driver? Don't need the driver. So it works with every device? Every smart device, Android and uh, iOS, iOS, but uh, Windows. Uh, Windows as well. But uh, no, uh, whatever I forget the, the application. I forget the the BlackBerry. Yeah, BlackBerry? cannot uh, cannot work on BlackBerry. But uh, which application do you need to have to make it work? You just go in the web browser, or you go to a special application? Uh, there is a special application on the uh, App Store and on the Play uh, Play Store as well. What is the name? Uh, it's a white TV. As, white TV. Yeah, the same. So how much it costs this? Well, it's uh, it's much more expensive because uh, you can see that there is a battery inside. Yeah. Even you are on the go, you can, still can use that to watch the loud uh, loud digital TV. So how much maybe? The forty five. Forty five dollars. For the how yeah, reference. How is very new? You didn't release it yet. Ah, uh, it's very new. So uh, you but, will look so many. Yeah, I'm quite happy because there's so many uh, tablets are here and uh, I think everybody, they need uh, one tablet. They need, everybody with a tablet needs digital TV. And, uh, <laughs> not, not all, but even 1%, I'm happy. 1% of all tablets is cool. So what is this? Can you talk about this? Is this a new product or is it Yeah, it's a new product. It's very, very small. You can see how small it is. And it's a dual core. And... Uh, with all the kind of uh, connectivities. You can see uh, we have CBS, we have uh, Ethernet, we have HDMI. What it is CBS? Like the CBS C CVBS. Uh, that, CVBS uh, composite that? video. Composite Com video? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, did Amlogic announce quad core? Uh, coming on, on uh, April, and uh, I think uh, we, we will have product in June and July. You are the first one to implement? <laughs> Hope so. Hope so. So the Amlogic Quad Core, how does it compare with Dual Core? Oh, it's an amazing one. Uh, yeah? The Quad Core is uh, 2 GHz. Um, uh, uh, the speed is uh, 2 GHz. And the 4 uh, A9 and the 4 Mali 400. And uh, previously it was uh, how many GHz? Dual Core? Uh, 1.5. 1.5 and the GPU? Uh, Mali 400. But not quite two. Two. Yeah. All right. So that's coming around June, maybe. June device. to July. 